What's going on guys, hearing with Artitech. Welcome to the first story time grinding of Light Platinum. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in high school and a few weeks ago ago uh, actually quick story. This is one of the few stories I was left over from Leaf Green and it never actually got a chance to be read, so yay. Um anyways. Okay, so I'm in high school and a few weeks ago, a girl in the year below me runs up to me and hugs me. She has dwarfism, and I have no idea who she is. Never even seen her before, nor any of her friends, so yeah. I'm quite a huggy person though, so I guess it could be worse. Doesn't make it any less weird. But anyways, she charges fast as she can on those little legs, and hugs me really tight, tight as she can, and screams, DADDY! She expected me to back down, fuck no, I bear hug her with all my might. Well, it wasn't all my might, because I probably would have hurt her if it was. And scream even louder, DAUGHTER! She craps it and screams at the top of her lungs. My friends behind me by a few beaters are just assuming that I'm raping a girl with dwarfism, and I find it pretty hard to explain to them. Ever since then, whenever she sees me in school, she hunts me down and glomps me. I'm still, to this day, more than a bit confused as to what the hell happened or why it happened. I love, sm I, I love little people. They're so cute and adorable, and I just like want to pinch their cheeks and eat them. And yeah, so... Anyways, next story. Hey, Artie, this is a story that happened very recently on the last day of school, and it's fine to say my name. I... I didn't write down your name. Awkward. So, it was the last day of school, and everyone was just talking in chemistry. But this one kid had something planned. You see, he was moving to Brooklyn next year, so he thought it was fine for him to do whatever he wanted and not get in trouble. So he decided to pull the emergency shower. Since you were homeschooled, I'll explain it to you, because apparently my brain can't comprehend that much. Please continue to explain. The emergency shower is placed in all science classes just in case some goes on fire. You pull the string and water comes pouring out and the teacher said it was the immediate suspension of week. For the record they have like they have this in like Walmart too. It's it, very logical what that is. Just, I'm just saying. Either way if, if you pull it it's immediate suspension. But this kid got extremely lucky. We had a substitute. So he just walked up normally and pretended to accidentally pull it. The substitute didn't notice and then all hell broke loose. For some reason, now everyone thought it was fine to do anything they wanted, so kids started throwing things, drawing dicks in textbooks, and the kid who pulled the emergency shower pulled this girl he was in love with for a year to him and started to make out with her. She kissed back. When she hated her. I assume that's supposed to be she hated him, but I don't know. But Me and my friends, me and my friends decided not to get detention, so we walked outside before the substitute could stop them and we burst out laughing. Needless to say, the principal came and gave everyone detention next year, except me and my friends since we were outside. And the kid who was moving got this in his permanent file and got suspended on the first week of school for next year. That was a very eventful last day of school. Um, I was going to tell a story about something I used to do in, um, I believe this would have been first grade, involving when the teacher would leave the room, four other kids in my class standing on top of desks and a lot of penises but that might not be appropriate enough so I think I'll just go on to the next story so so I got back from this mystery trip a few weeks ago since it was a mystery trip we knew nothing about where or what we would be doing until it happens we went to Illinois why and did work for all these different families after four days of work our youth leader told us we were having a fun day the next day we went to Six Flags and had an amazing time. I won my girlfriend a stuffed Wubat, but I'm just saying that because it's Pokemon related. After our day of fun, we went to a fast food place for dinner. When I got done eating, I went back to our church van. Me and two other guys on the trip started talking about attractive females. I remember my girlfriend talking about someone from Doctor Who, and I wanted to pull up a picture of her, but my phone wouldn't work. So one of the guys, from the, for the story purpose, let's call him Ned. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, never, use your, never give someone else your phone. That's like, that's like obvious. Never let someone else use your phone. I mean, that's what like, use your brain, people. I swear, some people in like school and little kids, they're just the stupidest people. Anyways, he told me he, I could use his. I got up and pulled up Google Images and then Google and then went to Google Images. When I hit the space to type in search, his old searches came up. The first three I see go as drop. The first three I see go as they fall. Jennifer Aniston nude. Jennifer Lawrence nude. And. Wait for it. Ovary. This guy's into some pretty hardcore stuff. At this time, my jaw drops and I look to the other guy, he could be Patrick, and show him to see if he sees what I do. <laughs> hey, can you read the same words I do? No, I see like, hey, this is a science book. Totally not porn. Yay. 
Ned grabs this phone and looks and claims that his cousin used his phone on what on the 4th of July two weeks prior to this trip. So then I ask for his phone back and I do him a favor. I clear his entire search history on Google Images and do the same for regular Google. I'd like to point out that there was no way his cousin looked up all the stuff he had on there. So I told Ned what I did and he looked at Patrick and I and says, as the other riders in our van get on, please don't tell anybody. Sorry Ned. Gotta say, who in the world uses Google Images for porn? I mean, serious time here, guys? Pornhub.com. I'm not endorsing underage pornography, or you should not be looking at it if you're like 13, because it's very serious. But yeah, seriously, Google Images, that's very, actually kind of pathetic. Anyways, that's today's grinding. Later on today, we will have more Light Platinum. Should be an exciting episode. I already recorded it, so I already know what happens, but you don't. You'll find out soon. Maybe in a few hours, maybe right now. Maybe it's already happened. Maybe you just don't know it. Maybe you look back in the past. Maybe you look in the future. Maybe you just confused. Maybe we should just end the video. Okay, bye.